one round of apples picked. Not too shabby for a small suburban garden. Not bad at all. Welcome to Salon Girl Gardens today. Happy 4th of July. It is hotter than heck in North Texas Zone 8A, and I am in a small suburban garden, and I'm Marie. So I'm going to show you the best way I know to pick apples. I have a Granny Smith apple tree that I've had in my garden for about six years now, and each year it reliably gives me about 100 apples, which is way more than enough for one person. Let me take you out, show you the tool that I use to get the apples off my tree and what I'm doing with my first batch of apples. How do you know when apples are ready to be picked? Because they start falling on the ground. Plus Facebook memories. I also have this handy dandy apple picker tool with a really, 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 long handle. So first we'll just take off the fruit that I can reach. Seriously, that apple picker tool is the best tool ever. I'm only five foot four, and my apple tree is very tall, way past the roof line, and the ground is really uneven, so putting a ladder out there is not smart. If you have any sort of fruit tree, I recommend getting one. I got it off Amazon. I think it was like $25. So this is my first round of apples, and there's more apples at the very tippy top, but it got too hot. So I called it a day with this batch of apples, and it's a pretty good haul so far. So you might be asking, what are you gonna do with all those apples? Well, apple pie, flat apple pie, apple butter, apple jelly, apple cake, apple cider vinegar, apple sauce, it's endless. It's a funny story though. When I bought my apple tree, it was labeled a red delicious apple tree. And I planted it and the first year I actually got fruit and I was waiting and waiting and waiting for these apples to turn red and they never did. And so finally I picked some and lo and behold, it was tart, sweet, crisp, Granny Smith apples, which are better for baking anyways. Apple butter in the crock pot cooking down. It's got 12 hours. So I cooked down the apples. I used an immersion blender, blended it all up, added a cup of sugar, some cinnamon, some nutmeg, and some cloves. And can I just say, who needs a Bath and Body Works candle when you're making apple butter and you're dehydrating apple slices with cinnamon? Oh my gosh. My house smells divine. So thank you for joining me at Salon Girl Gardens to see how I pick my apples and what I'm going to be doing with them. Please subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks.